Grasslands are one of the most important habitats globally, and grasslands are an ecosystem that store 30% of the world's terrestrial carbon. And they are a fundamental part of our fight against climate change. We have lost somewhere between 97 and 98.5% of our species rich grasslands in the UK. That's an extraordinary loss of habitat in the last 50 years. Grasslands are so important for butterflies, but like the rest of nature, many of our grasslands, butterflies and moths are in crisis. The decline in wildflower meadows in the UK has had an incredible impact on bumblebees. Now, pollination is a hugely important process for us in this country. So we're heavily dependent on pollination as an ecosystem service. 84% of all the crops in the UK are dependent on pollination. When you think of the work that the government wants to do to become net zero carbon by 2050, you won't do that just by planting trees. You need grasslands, you need meadows. Restoring flower-rich grasslands provides multiple benefits, including locking carbon in the soil, reducing flood risk, and acting as critical reservoirs for our pollinators. We need a step change in how we manage and restore our grasslands. Terra Carta is a fundamentally important step change in how society can respond to fighting climate change. It's bringing together all aspects of society. And as environmental NGOs, we believe that Grasslands Plus can be a coalescing force in bringing many parts of society together. Terra Carta has provided a platform to do that. The key outcomes that we're looking for really is we want to increase the profile of grasslands by engaging new audiences in the possibilities offered by grassland conservation, restoration and enhancement as a nature-based solution. I would ask people to look at the potential of grasslands for being a fantastic opportunity to combine the fight against climate change with well-being, with biodiversity. So if you have access to grasslands, if you have access to land, think about converting them into species-rich meadows. And if you've already got species-rich meadows, protect them and restore them and expand the area. Nature's in crisis and working together is actually our best chance to turn that crisis into an opportunity.